okay hi all so so many of you have reached out to me regarding like basic questions like how does actually uh, the roles and the responsibility how companies work when it comes to we have different teams like ui developer is different backend developers are different so how we actually work according to like different company size some variations will be there so that whatever the things i know like uh, because i have worked from small scale one startup also and now all the mnc's also again in the mid size also so i have worked everything and different kind of product product base also and mostly service base because i belong to the service base so whatever i have feel and these are not these are very generalized and everyone knows this but if you are a fresher so this will be helpful for you because you are going to work or if you are already working let's say you have 2 to 3 years of experience so this will be very beneficial like how you should behave when you are working in a company what challenges you are going to face so everything i will be covering so when we say about let's say team structure so based on the uh, company level either it is a startup mid scale or mnc so we have three different kind of structure right so when we talk about startups so startup doesn't have so many members very limited resources will be there so one person has to uh, what do we say behave like a multiple roles like either you are hired a, as a ui developer so if they are using node js for a backend so they will ask you to work on react angular whatever they have and node as well obviously they will provide the training also but expectation is like you have to do everything sometimes in small companies you have to do the testing also now trend is like they are asking ui developer or backend developer to write the unit test cases also like what with uh, means not just jasmine and the karma like automation and everything they are asking to do it also like so many of you have shared already in our live session like they are asking you because we have less number of people in the team so they are asking everything to you only to do so most of the things happen in the startup but in the startup one thing is like you get to actually imagine like what's whatever the person that startup is like either we say ola uber or any banking application or just like loan application so many small small applications are there right so what when it comes to product what and how many scenarios are up to what level you have to think because when you are creating something that should value add to a customer everything is a customer centric we are developing something for a customer either it's a website or, or it's a admin application so customer is the center of that so we have to make the, our application so that it should be user friendly with what level they think right so so many thing you get to learn over there because not everything it's like a normal crud application it's not just only api integration or something a beyond to that they go right so you get to create so many pos's also you get to explore so many different kind of libraries also let's say if you just want to show a simple table or data so there will be so much thought process also like how we can design the ui right which ui will make a appealing look to the customer so many things happen right again when it comes to agile right so startup some may follow but some may not or some may follow also but according to the deadline again we have to forget about the agile and everything right so because we have very tight deadline fast releases will happen in the startup right so this is about startup now same point i will be discussing for the mid scale now in mid size let's say uh, companies which we are targeting about let's say 1000 to 2000 up to 10000 also based on it can be anything right so we can say them these are the mid scale companies so in mid scale actually we don't have to if you joined as a ui developer either it's angular or react you have to work only for that particular technology also because they have a dedicated structure front end team is different back end team is different qa team is different day ops team is different in mid scale this can happen they might not have the day ops team you only have to build the jenkins jobs and trigger everything right so mid scale some mid scale might have a proper day ops team but some mid scale might not have so you have to learn that obviously their training and everything will be provided but you only have to well, either back end team will deploy their application front end team will deploy their application right so it might happen so uh normally like as i said in mid scale you have a dedicated team so you only will work on angular or react whatever the technology you belong right they will follow the agile but according to the client the uh, meaning of agile keeps changing right because mid scale they have to even though they have the client project or everything right so whatever client says they have to obey like that 
the deadline get fixed by the cl client so according to the agile we cannot uh, follow all the ceremonies whatever we have in agile sometimes even though sprint tasks were decided but again if client want we have to include one one or more two stories also right so again it based on the client if client is good he won't disturb the process whatever we follow but if client has don't have that understanding or the importance of the agile why we should follow the agile because ultimately see whatever the sprint let's say we have a two weeks of sprint right so and in that two weeks sprint we have decided like let's say five to major uh, five to six major features we are going to deliver but if client ask one or one more feature to be added in the same sprint obviously it is going to hamper our development also testing also everything will hamper so all unnecessary bugs and defects will going to come and that is unnecessary again we only have to work and fix it so it won't come out at a good product again right so when we say like again we have a dedicated team for front end and back end so we get to interact with the back end team let's say a sprint started you have one task for the ui some another guy will be there who will be talk, who will be working on so api so you need to communicate with him you have to get the object like what let's say you are working on a customer page let's say you just have to get a get api and you just have to display the data into a detail mode so you have to connect with him is it a, is it going to be a get api what kind of model you are going to pass so you need to get that you need to communicate with him let's say in your page you have some drop down so you have to talk to him like from where i'm going to get the uh, let's say drop down data is it going to be static or you are going to send it so we have to interact with the api team right then in mnc almost same thing gets followed but again like as i said see in mid scale you might not have a scrum master your manager or your tl sometimes also plays the role of the scrum master but when we talk about mnc they have a proper team because their standard is fixed they don't want they follow some set of rules that is very proven right so you we have a proper division of team let's say ui team back end team qa team product owner some uh, products owners will be there business analyst will be there client team will client testing team will also be there so many different different environment all, uh, will also be there right so they try to stick to the agile whatever the things we have got from sprint planning daily scrum sprint retrospecting everything they try to follow because they know like following this will create a valuable product right again so your responsibilities will be will be well defined in the jira or azure whatever uh, ticketing tool you are using same get followed in the mid size also okay so this is just how uh, teams work in different different companies right now coming back to the ui specific what ui developer has to do this was the most uh, question everyone was uh, focus so when we talk about ui developer what we do we only focused on the ui so normally we have a ux person who will design the some again it's based on the project or based on the client some project will have a dedicated ux person he will design the prototype what kind of ui our uh, whatever the story you are going to what kind of a ui will have sometimes they provide you the prototype sometimes they don't you uh, they don't provide the ui based on your knowledge and based on the existing theme whatever the project has you have to design the ui right so basically you have to design the ui some if prototype is there prototype might be provided in figma or adop right so the you have to see the prototype and according to you have to do the design one thing is over here if they are providing you the prototype in figma or adop so in some project they will ask you to do the pixel perfect means whatever exactly uh, what do we say font size mid width padding top whatever it is visible in the figma same we have to achieve that is pixel perfect right some clients are like that that i need the exact design functionality is the second thing but i ui should be very focused right so there you need to do the pixel perfect also then once your ui is ready we do the api integration again we have to talk to the api team if they have provided the swagger you get to see the api what object you need to send if the swagger is not there you have to communicate with the api team you get the object and like that you create the forms and everything you validate the form right either again if we talk about angular reactive dynamic form validation everything as everything is there right again here is one point if you are working on a startup it's not going to be very straightforward right when we work on the startup or you know or even a product based product so everything has to be dynamic nothing should be static 
code should be very structured that it should be reusable and everything right so many things happens whenever we work on a product base or a startup company right then you need test cases so either you are an angular or react you know like you need test cases, test cases we have to write so again it depends on the client if uh, the contract whatever the contract we get uh, our company gets uh, done with the client right according to that some com some client will ask you to write the unit test cases also some won't but mostly we have to write the unit test cases but now we have got copilot so with the help of copilot with our basic understanding we write the unit test cases okay so that's about unit test cases then how do we actually work so let's say our sprint started you got one ticket assigned you created the ui according to the api you integrate everything form validation everything done then what you do in very small project you will directly test it and you will directly push the code to your main branch in this will be in very small company but normally what we have to do you create your branch from your like developer master whatever or sprint or releases branches whatever the structure they might be following so you have to create a branch for that with the name of the ticket you will commit your changes you will raise the pr then one or two member from your team will do the initial peer review then your lead will do the actual review once he approves then your pr get merged to your ongoing development branch then it finally get uh, once after the deployment then release branch cut out then it finally gets merged to the master branch like that will happen again based on the company right again the review system again based on the company it will vary fine then so agile right so we have to uh, daily like in the morning so again like we mostly work with the on-site team and the offshore team also like right? so we might have a two stand up one in the morning and one in the evening also some will have just only have one scrum call somewhere we might have two also not just two scrum call one will be just to before starting work let's get connected what is going on just a normal uh, stand up call we can say and one will be the actual with the scrum master right so we have to follow agile methodology sprint planning daily scrum retrospective what we did well what went wrong so many things will get disturbed uh, discuss in some company they will actually work on it in some companies that is that is just a ceremony that we have to follow no one takes care of no one will think also like if something is not going according to the plan we discuss we uh, mention our point but that points no one will uh, work on that point also again it depends on the company right so build deployment again if you are in the small scale you have to build uh, you have to do the build deployment and everything if you are in a big company uh, pipelines will be already created by the devops team you just have to trigger it by getting the proper approval likewise to do and again interaction with the other team also now so this is what we normally do but the challenging part is let's say your project is very big so what normally is happening is right instead of having a big team they divide the team into one or two or three or four or five whatever the number of people we have just their thought process is like instead of having working as a big team they want to break down the teams right you are we are working on a single project but even though we will divide it into the team every team will work individually so their thought process is like we can get more work done if you divide the team okay so now in this case in a single project multiple teams can be there now there is another case like let's say if we talk about any client now every day you also know like some of you also might be in the same pitch uh, same working environment other company members will be also working for that same client right let's say one company's company a is there so team all the uh, people from the team a will be from a same company but team b is of all different uh, the team b member are all from the different company right so when you have multiple team and the teams person are from different different companies so it's get, it gets very hard to work with them because it's the same project multiple com multiple employees from different different companies are working on the same project right so now when it comes to uh, what do we say feature development let's say one com uh, one team developed one feature that feature got live to the production another team fixes some defect again it the role of scrum master is very important because if a team has developed one feature the defects cause defect we have received for that particular feature should get assigned to that original team only 
right but sometimes happen that some other team might do something and that might break our functionality also so so many blame game will be played over there because no one wants to take unnecessary defect in their team if they have not dip, developed it so so many things happen right again let's say api team is something from a different company we have to totally rely on their like again they won't provide you the pro object on time you have to keep waiting what you can do you can max you can design the ui but object if they don't provide you the object what are the fields they have right you are stuck so again it's very get hard it's really very hard when multiple people from different different companies are working on the same project because if everyone is in your if, if everyone is from your company you work as a team but when different different people come right so they don't work actually as a uh, what do we say team it is something very uh, strange scenario right let's say some defect is also there no one want to take that defect they will first try to see why this defect is there who have initially created that feature so they will try to blame on them again when any defect came let's say it's not it's your feature only but let's say api team is some from some another company so api team will try to blame it on ui team ui team will try to blame it on api team because as a ui team what we do let's say some detail pages there whatever ui whatever api will provide we show that right because we don't have the data whatever the data we get from api we show that so normally our point is on them and they will point to us so many things happen right but if you are you are in a good luck and you are working on a project where all the team members are from your company only so things will move uh, moves very smooth but if another company's employees are there so somewhat difficulty we have to face right so this is how working structure is there as far as compared to ui developer okay so i thought like again like to cover agile also but uh, i will be will be doing one live session like how do we work with agile what things are there right so for that i will be creating another session but i think like whatever you guys were having the question i think i have covered most of it so this is according to the different mids or mid scale startup or the mnc's what team structures are there what are the your responsibility ui responsibility we have right okay so again like if you have any questions so you can always reach out to me uh rxj session we have started so make sure you join it if you want to join it to the live session otherwise the recording will be provided over here fine thank you that's it so let's connect with the rxj session on saturday